pretty surreal because I came here for the first time last year as just a witness to the greatness and now to be a part of it is trippy in a way. But I mean, I feel like it represents so much in that people have connected to my character and that's what's so important to me because we were very intentional in creating Zoe that she was more than a one-dimensional person, but she was representative of the complexity of being a female and of being a teenager. And to see that that actually shows through the TV, I'm like, good, my work is done. <laughs> I have been born into a family of powerful women on both sides and even more importantly or equally as importantly I've been born into a group of men who know how to respect women and know how important they are so I feel like fortunately like my cousin is an astronaut so and my aunt is a professor of social work and my mother is like the epitome of confidence so I feel like I've been able to just witness the importance of not limiting yourself and I've been able to absorb that so they've played an integral part in allowing me to be me and I feel like that was what made acting so appealing to me was that there were no limits on who I could or could not be. Oftentimes it feels like it but there's no right way to do anything. There's no right way to succeed. There's no right way to be a teenager and I feel like if anything the right way would be being unabashedly you and sometimes it's hard to figure out who you are amidst it all but just enjoying the journey and it's easier said than done I'm trying to figure out how to enjoy the journey as we speak there's a lot going on but just appreciating every moment